Okay, this next fly is called a drop nose minnow. This fly is not in Gary's book, Trout Flies Proven Patterns, nor is it in high country, uh, fishing the high mountain lakes. This is a pattern Gary developed after those books came out. If you'll notice, take a look at the fly here. I've already tied on a tail of silver crystal flash. I've already built up some floss and painted an eye on the back of the hook, and I put on a small black bead and a larger silver bead. This eye at the back of the hook is important Simply, it might look a little odd to the fisherman, but that's the point where the fish actually attacks a minnow when he eats it. And so when he, if, if he attacks it, we want it back on the point where it'll do some good. So I'm going to start a base wrap right in front of the eye. Now I've already painted this eye on, but you can also use a doll eye and epoxy that on if you want. I get some white uh, thread on the hook here. And the back half of the body, I'm going to use the double magic technique. I'm going to use this technique with some silver crystal flash, which I'll tie in right in front of the eye. And then I'm going to apply some wax to the thread and touch dub some orange antron. I don't want too much. I don't want it to overpower the silver uh, crystal flash. I'm going to bring this around in a dubbing loop, close the end, and trim one side. I'm going to use my electrical clip to twist this like I did before. It seems like I have more control using this method. I'm going to twist this up, the antron and the crystal flash, and wrap this for the body. This gives a really good buggy body with the shine of the uh, silver crystal flash. Half of the body will be wrapped with the, mag the double magic technique and about the midway point I'm going to tie that off. Okay, trim away the excess and the next material that I'm going to use is some white antron and let me get some white antron okay I'm gonna take some it comes in four strands and I'm gonna skinny it down to about two strands and tie that on right in front of the double magic and wrap this body up to just behind the beads. And I want to build that up so it, it, it's about the same diameter as the back of the fly. Okay, after I've got that build up, I'm going to tie on a wing. If a fish has a wing, this is going to depict the, the fin. The first thing I'm going to put on is some uh, calf tail. And the reason for the calf tail is because the stiff fibers will prevent the marabou wing that I'm going to put on next from twisting underneath the hook shank. I'm not going to stack that. I'm just going to even it out a little bit, set it right in front of the beads, and let it extend back to just to the tip of the tail. And I tie it on right at that point. I'm going to use my thumb there to flare it out just a bit. And the next thing that goes on is a, an entire plume of white marabou. I'll take the uh, plume of white marabou and I'll measure it for length. I want it to, to be the exact same length as the calf and then I'll trim it to tie it in. The tie-in point once again right in front of the beads. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put in a topping, and the topping is going to be green crystal flash. We want a nice bunch of green crystal flash. I haven't really counted the fibers. There should be 20 to 30 strands. I'll tie it in. 
fold it over and make a double layer so it's nice and thick and I'll trim it to length to give me the topping on the fly. The next thing I want to put in is the gills so I'll take a single strand of red uh, wool yarn and I'm going to turn right behind the beads a couple of turns of the of the uh, wool yarn and trim that short. So the white thread doesn't show up I'm going to go over that with a red thread to form my whip finish. I want to cover up all the white that's showing there, all the white thread. Now whip finish. Take my comb and comb out these this strand of wool yarn so it looks like a gill. Okay, now these beads on the drop nose minnow are going to give it a jigging action and this will be a great addition to your fly box for streamer fishing.